Doc Talk is brought to you by Merck Animal Health, the science of healthier animals. Hey folks, thanks for joining me today on Doc Talk. I'm here with a friend, Gary LaGrange. We're outside of Manhattan, Kansas. We're going to talk to you about food and freedom, and we're going to talk about a new program, the Service Member Agricultural Vocation Education Program, the SaveFarm.org. Stay tuned. As dependable as the sunrise, in dairy parlors, open pastures, on ranches and feed yards across America, a place where reputation is more than a name, where the science of healthier animals is a way of life. It's the responsibility that drives who we are and what we do. Every decision, every day. It's your livelihood and our responsibility. Closed captioning brought to you by AgriLabs, the perfect pairing of performance and value. This segment brought to you by the new hired hand portable cow sprayer. For more information, visit cowsprayer.com. Well, Gary, welcome to the show. Well, thank you for having me. Yeah, well, thanks. Folks, this is Gary LaGrange, and, and we'd met here in Manhattan and around the area, and, and y'all had told me about the program that, that, that y'all have started and been working on, and it's just a phenomenal program. And I wanted, I wanted you to come on the show. We have some of the soldiers and veterans that will be here on the show. Um, but, Gary, talk to us a little bit about the SAVE program. Sure, we will do. Well, uh, let me just start by telling uh, the story of SAVE. My daughter is a clinical psychologist specializing in post-traumatic stress, brain injury, and suicide. And she suggested that opening a farm would be therapeutic for the veterans that she works with. She works in this area uh, with folks from Fort Riley and veterans in and so, and so we began to look into it, and as, as her vision was small, our vision grew. Uh, USDA, VA said, you need to think bigger. We've got a million and a half veterans out there among us today, and about 800,000 transitioning military, um, um, and they're looking for purpose. Uh, a lot of them are struggling, particularly those that are just getting out of the military, are struggling to figure out how to move from one culture to another. And so about 30% of them have some sort of disability. And that disability is more often an anxiety disorder, operational stress, called post-traumatic stress. And, uh, and a percentage of them have physical disabilities also. Well, over 40% of them want a farm. That may seem strange, but 60% come from a rural background. So uh, at the same time, we have... Uh, a need for a million new farmers in the next decade and a half. Right. 63% uh, of our farms are in the last generation. The average age of a farmer is approaching 60. So uh, our vision is to build a pathway for these veterans who are looking for purpose to find their way from the military culture into farming. And there really isn't a good way to do that today unless you have a family to go back to or have a, a relative that's willing to take you into the farm or a friend or some connection. There just isn't a good way to learn farming. So, uh, and so we put together this organization called SAVE to build that pathway. And our vision uh, started with uh, small, grew to a 500 plus acre farm that would have uh, residential facilities on it so they could train about 100 at a time. Um, that came from USDA. There's 78 land grant universities, so we're connected with Kansas State University. We have a formal agreement with them. They're developing the curriculum. They've designed the farm. And the, the, mission, the vision is to put together a training farm here 
that can be replicated on all 78 land grant universities. Produce about 100 new farmers a year, and then you begin to make more than a marginal contribution to the need for new farmers. Well, I retired from the military last year, and I joined the military because I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. Well, 24 years later, I still didn't know what I wanted to do with my life, you know, so I'm sitting at home, I retired, I'm sitting at home, and it's like, what do I want to do? I had no idea. And when I found out about this, and I called up Gary, and he says, yeah, stop out tomorrow, and, you know, and you take a look, we'll show you around. I stopped out, and I've been coming out ever since. <laughs> it's like I have a purpose now. This is veterans, so you can kind of, you know what they've gone through, and so it helps, you know, helps you build up, and you could talk about different things, you know, what everybody's feeling. I can't be any happier than I am now. I went on a couple of the farm tours with the Save Farm and got to know Gary. Um, went to one of his bee days uh, to get in with the beehives, and I was immediately completely enthralled. Like, uh, it's, I've got, I have PTSD, and yeah. I've, it's probably one of the best things I've found for my anxiety, actually. So, and I know it sounds crazy to everybody that's, uh, um, being around a whole colony of bees would actually make you less anxious, but <laughs> it, it's, it's, it works for me. Somehow somebody mentioned this guy, Gary LaGrange, that was into bees. Um, I really like the thought of having bees and keeping bees, so I got in contact with him. And he told me about um, the Save Farm and their program, what they're doing, how they're teaching veterans and helping veterans transition out of the, mar out of the military and uh, going into agriculture. It's just a win-win program. It's the Save program. More after these messages. This Prevention Works Minute, brought to you by Beringer Engelheim Vet Medica, Inc. Hey folks, Dr. Dan here. Welcome to Prevention Works, which is a segment sponsored by Beringer Engelheim Vet Medica to talk about things that you can do to, to promote preventative medicine from having injury and sickness in your cow herd. And I just want to talk about having a veterinarian on your farm, specifically establishing a veterinary client-patient relationship. When we have a veterinary client-patient relationship, what that means is, is that the veterinarian understands your operation, has seen your cattle, is part of, of understanding the expertise, the facilities, the geographical area, and things to make medical decisions. The second part of that veterinary client-patient relationship is that you, the producer, will use antibiotics in the way that the veterinarian has prescribed in the, the case that your animals need it. The veterinarian also needs to be available for follow-up calls. Get a VCPR ASAP. Valley Vet Supply is devoted to providing information and professional quality products at reasonable prices. Valley Vet Supply. This segment brought to you by the new hired hand portable cow sprayer. For more information, visit cowsprayer.com. Hey folks, welcome back to Doc Talk. Dr. Dan Thompson here with Gary LaGrange. We're outside of Manhattan, Kansas on a beautiful fall day talking about probably one of the coolest programs that I've heard of in, in a very, very long time. And your passion and your vision, your daughter's vision, uh, the people that are involved in this program are to be commended. And we're so thankful that, that agriculture, because me and agriculture, uh, for me to be able to give back to you or to someone who, who has fought for my freedom, which you have, and uh, had tours of duties in Vietnam. And Laos. And Laos. Um, for me to be able to help you and, and all of us in agriculture, we're pretty passionate about this country as well, to be able to partner with you. Folks, this is... This is something we've got to get going, something we've got to get involved with, and it's time for us to help lift this program up and, and move it forward. Um, when you talk about the, the, the program, what are some of the things that, as you look forward, uh, I know that you're expanding some land around here, but, but there are going to be needs, right? There, there's going to be, there are going to be needs for equipment. There's going to be a need for, for funding. There are going to be needs for partnerships, for, for placement of interns and things as they move out, and, and also uh, 
potential land down the road and different things to that nature. But how could people, as you see your most immediate needs uh, for getting this going, people could probably call their congressmen and senators too, right? They sure can do that. Um, <laughs> um, we're, we're standing on a 320-acre plot that we've now leased with an option to buy, so buying the land is important to us so that we can begin to construct uh, the, the campus and the farm the way that farm engineers in Kansas State University has designed it. And so getting the land is important to us. We're leasing it. We have workshops here now. Uh, but to develop this further, we're going to have to buy it first. And that's necessary. And so our, our farm has got um, 15 acres of produce, 15 acres of orchards. Uh, we have uh, 20 acre plots of wheat, corn, milo, alfalfa, soybeans. Uh, we have one tractor and one tiller right now. <laughs> <laughs> and, and a couple of other pieces of equipment, a mobile training center. And so we're going this to- This is not the mobile training center, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and so, so we've got, uh, we've got a need for, um, the equipment will have 20 cow-calf pairs, 20 sheep and a ram, 20 goats and a buck, uh, a poultry operation, a small swine operation, a few horses, um, and uh, 500 bee colonies. We, one of, beekeeping is one of our uh, pilot programs right now, and that's been quite successful for us. We've trained about 220, 28 folks so far, mostly active duty. Most of them have post-traumatic stress, some physical disabilities. And uh, we found just great success with that program for them. I run the wood shop. So when soldiers come in, or transitioning soldiers or veterans, they come in. And uh, I take them anywhere from the safety uh, of using a table saw to uh, using a socket. And we get, the, we get all the hives. And it's not just therapy for them or friendship for them. It also works for me, too. I'm a veteran of 27 years. And, and uh, I tried some other things and they didn't work out. And now that I'm back around the crowd that I'm used to and I enjoy being around, then I'm, I'm much happier. I have personally seen a number of young soldiers who came to this program very troubled, suffering from some of the concerns that you and I have talked about before. They find a means, they find a way, they find a calling. Tremendous program, the savefarm.org. Go there, log on. Uh, let's get involved, folks, and let's help this program. No matter where, no matter why, the Veterinary Health Center at Kansas State University is committed to providing quality patient care to animals and exceptional customer service to their owners. From routine checkups to emergency and specialty care, our world-renowned specialists and experienced professionals are here to discover to teach and to heal. Let us know. How can I help? How can we help? Do your cattle struggle with pink eye, BRD, or another disease? Contact Newport Laboratories for a customized solution. Our custom-made vaccines are produced using the specific diseases found in your area. These USDA licensed vaccines offer potential cost savings on vaccine and labor Contact your veterinarian or Newport Laboratories the next time your cattle are in need of a custom solution. Newport Laboratories, custom-made vaccine, because every situation is different. If my calves start healthy and stay healthy, I've got a good shot at making money. That is why I trust Clostrix. It gives my calves the protection they need until their own immune systems kick in. Calf Razors trust Colostrix Colostrum Supplements. Colostrix is USDA licensed and proven effective. When your money is on the line, trust Colostrix. Valley Vet Supply is devoted to providing information and professional quality products at reasonable prices. Valley Vet Supply. Hey folks, Dr. Dan from Doc Talk here with Gary LaGrange, I almost said Dr. Gary LaGrange. I'm used to having veterinarians <laughs> on the show. So anyway, uh, he's, he's more important than a veterinarian because of what he is doing to help people transition from active duty and service to our country to keep our freedom into agriculture. And I think the two main points that we said we wanted to make sure is that we're helping people transition from, from service 
and we're helping get more people involved in agriculture. And it is a win-win situation here when you think about the need for, for folks to come into agriculture and, and uh, helping the people that afford us. When we're sitting here on a Christmas morning or a Christmas a uh, afternoon, uh, we're afforded this luxury because of folks like you and folks that have been involved in, the, uh, in our military. Uh, just a very humbling experience for me. And, and for you all to get involved, if you want to uh, contact, how do people get a hold of you? Oh, well, they can uh, contact us through the website, www.thesavefarm.org. Just contact us or uh, our telephone number is there, address is there, and uh, uh, you'll find us that way. Well, and, and there's a way to donate? Yes, it's uh, right on the website. So, so go right on the website. You can click on there. You know, if, you're not, if you don't have equipment or if you don't have things involved with agriculture, you know, you can go ahead and, and, and donate like, like many of us have, whether it's time, uh, money, things of that nature. Tell your congressman, tell your senator that this is a program that we want to enhance. So talk to me then, how do people get involved? How do the soldiers get involved or the veterans? Well, we work with both the Veterans Administration and uh, mostly with Fort Riley right now, although the Department of Defense-wide, they're, they're beginning to learn about us. And so the occupational therapists and the physical and mental therapists, uh, clinical psychologists, refer them to us. If they're capable of farming and they're interested in farming, they're sent to us. So we have a mix of uh, active duty and a mix, mix of uh, veterans working together with us. We trained about 228 so far. Almost all of them come to us with post-traumatic stress or a physical disability. And what we found is that farming, is, it has tremendous recovery uh, potential. Uh, of the 228 we've worked with, um, I have a, a raft of, uh, of testimonials that tell us we've recovered because of this program. We found purpose in life. We want to farm. And we now have at least 24 out farming and a number of others looking for farming opportunities. I was able to get out, work with bees. I've, my wife and I have had a passion for doing bees for 10 years, and we finally have an opportunity to get into it and learn from some of the best, the master beekeeper of Gary LaGrange. And I'm looking at a small farm with lavender, uh, hopefully maybe a few goats and cows, uh, running a small operation, uh, doing a lot more agritourism, trying to draw more folks from the city out and get them outdoors and teach them about farming and sustainable agriculture. The one thing that keeps coming through is that giving these people, they've, they've been in active military, they've been serving, you know, four, six, eight, ten years longer, and now they're, they're searching for a purpose. Right. Most of the folks that have come through have uh, four, at least four, deployments into a combat zone, some as many as eight that I've worked with. And uh, the repercussions are significant, and now they want to find a way to live out their life, a purposeful way. And if they want to farm, why not help them? What a beautiful way to help them. What I love about the program, folks, we got test plots for crops. We have cattle, sheep, goats, and horses, and, and really it is a truly training. This isn't like going to college. This isn't, I mean, Sorry, I teach at university. This isn't, you, you know, this is hands-on technical skills, helping them be ready, be work ready to come on your farm or ranch and work with you. Get involved, thesavefarm.org. Go look them up. Did you know long-range planning through the checkoff can help keep your business profitable? To successfully pass on cattle operations from one generation to the next, it's important to promote beef and keep farms and ranches profitable. Your beef checkoff helps do that. We are Mike and Martha Armitage here at the A-Bar Ranch, Claremore, Oklahoma. We have a cow-calf uh, production company and we also have a marketing company. We have entertained groups brought to us by the Beef Checkoff, uh, such as uh, South Korean media that uh, covered our operation and brought the good news back to South Korea. That was a, a really neat experience and that we got to have young people from another country that we got to 
experience a lot of different things in their culture, but got to share our culture too. We live on the Squaw Creek Ranch here as a division of the A-Bar Ranch. As a, as a wife and a mother, and also with my background in more of a health field, I look at just the nutritional value, and it's, it's great that the Beef Checkoff offers that kind of information to the consumers that are out there. We both are proud to come from agricultural, more specifically ranching backgrounds. My dad is a part of the Beef Checkoff Board, and so the Beef Checkoff has been something that we promote and that we support what it has to offer. Not everybody who's in agriculture is tech savvy on Facebook and through social media. Most people in the city happen to be, and they are very <laughs> disconnected from our day-to-day -day routines. And that's one thing that makes me proud of the Beef Checkoff, them going to bat for us mm -hmm. uh, from those who aren't necessarily anti-ag, but just simply don't know and they aren't getting the information. As producers, uh, we're strong supporters of that and hope that Many of you out there realize all of the different things that the Beef Checkoff brings to the table for us as producers. It's easy to spot the man who uses Synanthic. With lower volume and less waste, Synanthic steps up your deworming routine. Get more deworming with less dewormer at Synanthic.com. Beringer Ingelheim Vet Medica Inc. knows the importance of beef quality assurance and asks you to step up and get certified. Go to bqa.org for details. This segment is brought to you by the Beef Quality Assurance Program and the Kansas Beef Council, improving animal care and beef safety for more than 20 years. Hey folks, Dr. Dan here with Gary LaGrange and we're outside of Manhattan, Kansas on a beautiful fall day to talk about a, a phenomenal program that Gary and, and his team, his daughter, have started and is really starting to, to take root and, and grow. 228 soldiers so and veterans have gone through the program. Many more signed up. We need help in agriculture. We are given freedom by the people who have volunteered to step in line and, and put their lives on the line, and now to be able to, through us, through agriculture, to provide that outlet to something that would help heal people that have afforded us this opportunity to live in the most wonderful country on the face of this earth is just tremendous, folks. And, and Gary, you're to be commended, and I thank you so much for what you've done. It's a, it, I know it's a, I know it's a, a, a you know, a work of passion and, and pleasure for you, um, but it is very honorable and, and humbling and, and I thank you for doing that and You're this welcome. is going to be great folks tell me again so when when we start to think about getting involved tell me where your where your vision is down the road where are we headed what's the next step so the vision the vision is to get this farm purchased for leasing it now and uh, and and uh, get it built up Kansas State University's plan is to put a full spectrum farm here and we'd like to see that as soon as possible and so that we can bring in a hundred students, train them over about a year, actually 11 months to the journeyman level, and then uh, with the help of research and extension across the nation, Farm Bureau and Farm Credit, to place them on a succession farm. We already have a number of farmers that are looking for them, and, and we pl place some already. There are a number of, of folks that have come through our program that are already out farming a high percentage. And so we just want to begin producing farmers to fulfill the nation's need at the same time to help these young men and women recover. If they want to do so, I feel an obligation to help them uh, get into farming if they wish to after all they've given us. I couldn't agree more. Mm -hmm. So if, again, you can go to the website and we've got there on the bottom of the screen for you to see. Uh, this has a personal meaning to you. Yes, does, it does. It does. It's, it's, you, you have gone through what these soldiers have gone through. I spent uh, three tours in uh, Vietnam during the war and uh, came out of there on a litter several times. And uh, I know what they're going through. And unless you're there, have gone through it, you really can't understand. It's not a physical or a mental thing that they experience. It's a soul deep thing that they experience. I mean, so, so we're really talking about helping them to restore their soul as, as opposed to just the physical or mental part of it. 
And uh, I understand that firsthand. And, and I just think we need to do more for these young men and women that have done so much for us. Well, we're going to. And uh, we're going to get people involved. Thank you so much You're for Thank all you. you do. Thank you for and doing thanks this. thanks for getting this program off the ground. Folks, go to their website, thesavefarm.org. It's a wonderful program. It's something we all need to get involved with and help. Thanks for watching Doc Talk. If you want to know more about what we do, you can find us on the web at www.doctalktv.com. Always work with your local veterinarian. Thank you so much for watching the show today. Get involved. Participate. I'm Dr. Dan Thompson, and I'll see you down the road. Closed captioning brought to you by AgriLabs, the perfect pairing of performance and value. Doc Talk was brought to you by Merck Animal Health, the science of healthier animals.